Hi guys, now today I'm coming to you from a sweet cabin on board p and Arcadia, which is one of the older ships in the p and Cruises fleet. Now in this video, I'm going to take you on a full room tour around this cabin and ultimately show you what it would be like to cruise in a suite. Now, I'm not staying in this room, but I've been able to get access to have a look around to ultimately to show you guys. So hopefully I can give you some tips and some advice as we go around the room that might help you decide if this is a room that you would like to book or if this is a room that actually you would rather avoid. But hey, I'll let you make your own mind up. Now, just before I get into the corridor where I'll talk you through the location of this room, just a few bits about the ship itself. So this ship was launched in 2005, which actually makes her one of the oldest, if not the oldest cruise ship that I've been on. And it's been really interesting over the last few days to look at how that makes her significantly different to a lot of the new mega ships that are on the market now. This cabin, however, actually feels like it could be on a new cruise ship. And I'll show you what I mean as I take a walk around with you, I think largely due to the fact that it's obviously been redecorated and refurbished relatively recently. But when you come onto Arcadia, there's a couple of different options for room types that you could book. So as with every other cruise ship, you could book an inside cabin, which is where, as the name suggests, you're on the inside of the ship and you don't have a window. The next option up is an ocean view, which means that you don't have a balcony, you're not on the inside with no window, you've got a window so you can see the ocean, but you can't go out of that window and usually you can't open it. Or well, you shouldn't go out of that window, shall we say. Next up, you move into your balcony categories and then you move into this type of room that we're coming from today, which is a suite. Now, in addition to the room itself, you do get some additional benefits, which I'll link them in the description of the video. But one, for example, there's a bit of paper here that I'll show you as we go around the room that advertises your butler's name. So you've got someone on hand that should you need anything, you can just pick up the phone and they will come and they will help you. But hey, look, that's probably enough talking for now. Let's get out into the corridor. I'll show you where this room is on the ship. And then, yeah, let me know in the comments if you would cruise in this room. Okay, so in terms of where we are on the ship right now, so these are the aft or the back elevators. So the elevators need us the back of the ship. Now looking at this sign here, you'll see that the majority of cabins are on the left hand side, which if we went down there, that would walk us towards the very front of the ship. However, a short walk down here and that gets us to this back section, which if you book any of these rooms that we're getting to now, all of them are going to look out towards the back of the ship. So the room that we are going to be going into is A167, or more commonly known as the Venice Suite. So when you go in, you'll see that this room is really clearly split into two main sections. So on the left hand side, you've got your storage and your bathroom area, which we'll go into shortly. And on the right hand side, which is where we're going to go now, you've got your main living area. Now when you actually get into this section of the room, you can see that again it's split into a few different sections. So first of all, and probably the key part of the room for it being a bedroom, you've got the bed on the right, and then on the left, you've got your sort of sitting area or your living area. Now it is worth noting that in this grade of cabin, you can't actually fence off or curtain off that bedroom area to the sitting room area, which you can do on some competitor cruise lines. Now you can see here that you've got your bedside tables that are fixed on either side of the bed. And if we go down and look at the way that these drawers open, they do open really nicely and they also click shut. So in the middle of the night, if your sleeves are relatively rough, you don't have to worry about being woken up by drawers flying open as you try and sleep. Now, just a nod to the colour palette in here, it's really evident that this has been upgraded and renovated relatively recently. I'm a really big fan of how this room presents itself. I think it's really nice and really, really modern. Now moving past the living area on the right hand side where you've got your sofa and then your two armchairs with your coffee table, you get to this little section over here with your lamp. Now on here, you've got your cabin phone that you can use to call other cabins or you can use to call your butler, which you can see the advert for in front. There's also an invitation here to dine in the Sindhu restaurant for breakfast, which is a speciality restaurant open for sweet guests if you do book this room so you don't have to go to the main dining room. And then you've also got your literature on the TV. Now this section on the other side wall here, we're going to come back to this shortly. Essentially that is a little bit of storage and also where you've got your tea and coffee making facilities, but we'll come back to that in a few minutes. Now over here, before we head into the storage and the bathroom area, you've got two hooks that are fixed to the wall. Now I find them 
really really nice to have in a room it's one of my top tips to take hooks with you so really like to see them in here and inside this curtained off section you've got all of your storage now actually quite an impressive amount of storage for this room and for the size and maximum occupancy of this room really impressed here on the right hand side you've got your kettle you've got your coffee machine and then down below you've got your drawers which I won't take you into um, because to be honest they're all empty drawers so there's not too much to see and then you've got a seat under the unit where you can sit and do your makeup while you're getting ready to go out. Now on the left hand side you've got these pretty big actually mirrored wardrobes so some of them contain floor to ceiling hanging space others contain a little bit of that but with the, the sort of cubed storage area at the bottom and then you can see on the left hand side you've got the same again so in here in this example you've got your robes and then more hanging space all the way down to the floor Okay, so storage tour tick. Let's now head in to the bathroom, which is through this door at the end. Now, you will see when you go in that it's actually quite a big bathroom in here. I was quite surprised by how long it was. So, as you go in on the right-hand side, just off shot at the moment, but you've got a standalone shower, which is then followed by your full-size bathtub with whirlpool settings, which also has a shower on the wall. Now, on the left-hand side, you'll have seen there that you've also got your his and her sinks, which are, yeah, they're always useful, quite a good addition. And one thing that I would add, in terms of shower curtains, anyone that's seen my room reviews before will know that I don't really like a shower curtain. <laughs> and over the bath, they've got this really nice, really luxurious, thick-feeling shower curtain. But over the shower, they've opted for that much cheaper-feeling material, which I really, really don't like that. So hopefully, they'll upgrade that in the future. Now moving over to the other side of the bathroom and looking at storage now, I actually think this room is really, if anything, overcompensated for storage. So you've got these really nice click shut shelves on either side, plus your white company toiletries in the middle here, which you can leave them out, or to be honest, you might as well just get them away in one of the mirrored sections. And in one point that's worth noting before we leave here is that you've also got all of this under sink storage now this is all open i do find it quite useful but yeah anyone again that's watched my other tours will know that i don't really like anything in a room that's left open i quite like when i get on a ship that everything can have a place and i can get it in a drawer i can get it in a wardrobe and just shut it and not look at it so up to you i guess now room temperature in here is controlled on one of these higher or lower settings now, I didn't stay in this room, as I said, but in my room, which was a, a balcony cabin elsewhere on the ship, I didn't find the fans to be loud at all overnight, so I would say you really don't have to worry about that if you are quite a light sleeper. Now, looking at storage in the room itself, you've actually now got additional cupboard space in here. Now, in this section, you don't have the floor-to-ceiling hanging space, but you do have much shorter shelves, and then there's also a little bit of hanging room at the bottom, You've also got your life jackets at the top here, and then you've got these really nice tartan blankets, which I really, really appreciate that sort of thing. For the kind of colder nights where you want to sit out in the balcony, maybe have a few drinks, have dinner, you've got the luxury of a blanket without having to bother with <laughs> ripping the duvet off the bed. Now in this section here, you've got your mini fridge, which I think it had a couple of cans of water in there, but you can put whatever you wish in that. And on the far left, you've got essentially your bar set up, so you've got all of your types of glasses you then move down and you've got your champagne bucket or your ice bucket at the bottom rather and i'll move over now and show you where the likes of the champagne bucket would be which is in this little storage area beside the sofa essentially so if you look in here you've got yep your bucket at the top and again you can just get your butler to to fill that with ice if you require now over the other side of the room You've got this section over here, which I actually, I'm not too keen on the location of this. I would find it weird trying to watch that TV if I was in bed. But anyway, quite a nice little setup over here. You've got your, um, now the black case there is a set of binoculars that come with the room. The orchid, the orchid is real. Actually, I had a feel of that to check if it was real or fake and was quite surprised to learn it was actually real. You've got a little reading lamp and you've also got an alarm clock. 
And under here, you've got some more storage. Now, general storage in this room is amazing. I really would be surprised to meet anyone that manages to fill this room. <laughs> but hey, if you've stayed in here and you've managed to run out of storage, please let me know. And I know what you're thinking, you've been watching this video for 10 minutes and you haven't got to the reason why you pay all this money for this room. And that is the balcony and the view from the balcony. So let me take you out and show you that now. Now this to me was particularly impressive. Now you've got a number of different seating options here. You've got the usual chairs on the far side. You've then got chairs with a dining table in the middle. And if I show you around the corner, you'll then see that you've also got the option of having sun loungers, which granted on this ceiling, it was a little bit too cold. So they were quite comfortably tucked around the side. But I was really, I guess, in awe of the size of this balcony. As someone who doesn't usually cruise in a suite category room, I was actually really surprised to learn that these do wrap all the way around the corner. A really, really nice room, and it would also be really good for entertaining. And that view from the back is absolutely remarkable. So you can either be on the balcony, or you've got these huge picture windows, which look straight out over the wake. Now, one thing that definitely is worth noting about this particular cabin is that the deck above does actually look directly into the balcony. Now, personally, I don't think that would be a huge issue for me, but it is worth noting that that is, on this ship, one of the main pool decks. So you may find people hanging about at the railing, taking photos, making noise. Granted, it's an adult-only ship, so you shouldn't get children, but yeah, just worth, worth bearing in mind at all times, I guess. And that's it. That's a full room tour of a suite on P&O Arcadia. So I really do hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please think about subscribing to the channel. And I usually tend to launch a video at least once a week. So yeah, hit subscribe and you'll be notified when they come on. But for now, thank you so much for watching. And I'll hopefully see you on the channel again soon. Thanks. Bye.